calculate the value of, okay, well, this is even easier than with the n's. 43 factorial means 1 times 2 times 3 times dot, 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 times 40 times 41 times 42 times 43. And then we cancel all the numbers up to 40. So the only survivors are going to be 41 times 42 times 43. We had a list that all went all the way to 43, and then we bit off all the numbers from 1 to 40. This is all that's left now. So 41 times 42 times 43 is more than I can handle with my tiny human brain. So we'll go to the machine. 74,046. Thirty-seven factorial over thirty-three factorial, we can get those to cancel. This is thirty-seven factorial is a list of all the numbers up to and including thirty-seven. Then we lose all the numbers up to thirty-three, so we're left with thirty-four times thirty-five times thirty-six times thirty-seven. And downstairs we have one times two times three times four. Um, if you want to get fancy, you could key this into the calculator right now. If you want to save a little bit of effort, maybe, you could do things like 3 times 4 is 12. We'll cancel that. We'll divide 36 by 12. So we're just left with 3. Uh, 34 is divisible by 2, so we'll cancel the 2, and we'll turn that into a 17. But come on, you're going to the calculator anyway. This, How much time is that really saving you? If you just do... I'll do my simplified version, but I'm not sure it's a good use of time. 17 times 35 times 3 times 37, and everything in the denominator canceled, so 66,045 should do for that one.